I have apologized. I apologize, and I will continue. To <laughs> That's heavy duty. That's a Damn. trip. That's past, and present, and future. Past, present, and future apologies. He's covering all the bases. No wonder he's an incredible writer. I mean, look at this apology. I will be quiet now, yeah. for your voice matters more. <laughs> this poor guy, man, making a dude like this bend the knee. Come on, brother. He needs to bro. apologize for every alternate dimension in case string <laughs> string theory is real. You know that. <laughs> String theory is crazy, the vibrations. So we got a lot going on. There's been an incredible effort to cancel somebody that you probably know, Warren Ellis. He used to run a, a forum back in the day. All right, this is the Warren Ellis Forum. And believe it or not, but there's a huge amount of people came out of this, huge amount of creators that we're familiar with today came out of this forum that he used to run. A heavily moderated forum. And, uh, you know, this is so running from 1998 to October 20, 2002, so about four years, but it gave birth to a lot of budding relationships, believe it or not, but Kelly Sue DeConnick was a part of that. Ew. And she actually met her husband on the forum, Matt Fraction. Okay, so imagine that. And these two, right, Chips Zdarsky was there. He was banned from the forum after one post, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> uh, over 10,000 messages a week. Uh, 20 people in the chat room at any one time. Open 24 hours a day worldwide. Couples met and even got married here. People found homes and aid here. Companies were started and saved here. It was good. All right, so this is Warren Ellis' forum that he, you know, the WEF. Fantastic place to be at that time if you were a creator. I imagine creativity groundswell. So as a result of last week's revelations, uh, Kelly C. DeConnick has been having some tough conversations. She took to Instagram Live with a raw, honest account to express her support. All right, so let, let's let's see what she has to say. This is hard, you guys. I have spent the week talking to them um, and uh, apologizing where I needed to apologize. And uh, we're having some difficult conversations around, uh, you know, the Warren Ellis Forum is a thing I remember very fondly. It was a, a really wonderful experience for me. Um, and uh and it absolutely was not for a lot of other people and uh so i should say unequivocally in case I, it hasn't been clear um uh that i believe these women okay there's no and i don't wish my experience with warren to ever be weaponized against them um to discount um anything that they have been through yeah, so she's actually friends with Warren Ellis, right? But she says that she also believes the women. She's having a hard time. We're listening to this at 1.3x. Right. She's it's saying, she's saying, like, you know, even though I've had all these good experiences with Warren Ellis, and he's never ever proven to me that he was a. I don't want all my good experiences with this man to be weaponized crazy. What she said, dude, that was insane. Absolutely she agree. Want her good experiences, because she's had no ex bad experiences with this man. She doesn't know him to be a, a dirty... She doesn't want that weaponized. Holy sh... Yeah, meaning that her own lived experience is invalidated by other women's... Right, she's gonna believe everyone else. Yeah, holy... F you know, she's condemning a man for online crimes. Even though she has had good experiences all the way through with him, she's gonna take everyone else's word for it. Warren Ellis now today he's been forced to put up an apology and at first I want to look at the apology and then let's make our we'll work our way backwards to what was actually done uh you'll you'll be astonished to know uh what he said and what he actually did when you think okay sexual impropriety what are you thinking what do you think he did just give me a couple of guesses here Pan. what do you think brother um, so I don't know you, you like forced a woman to do something against her will. Okay. This is from Warren Ellis. And he says, recent statements have been made about me that need to be addressed that I was not engaging as an equal when gifted with attention, but acting from a position of power and privilege. Oh, I did not oh, take Jesus. that into account. Right. <laughs> I did not take that into account in a number of my personal interactions. And this was a mistake and I own it. While I've made many bad choices in my past, and I've said a lot of wrong things, let me be clear. I have never consciously coerced, manipulated, or abused anyone, nor have I ever assaulted anybody. But I was ignorant of where I was operating from at the time, 
and I should have been clear, and for that I accept 100% responsibility. I hope people, I hurt people deeply. But wait, he said that he didn't abuse, manipulate, or assault anybody. How did he hurt people? I hurt people deeply. Yeah, it's confusing, was, right? It's confusing because he says, let me be right. clear. I have never consciously coerced, manipulated, abused anyone, nor have I ever assaulted anybody. But yet, he hurt people deeply. Huh. Mm-hmm. huh. Okay. He says, I hurt people deeply. I am ashamed for these mistakes, and I am profoundly sorry. I will not speak against other people's personal truths, and I will not expose them to the toxicity, uh-oh, toxicity <laughs> of the current discourse. I should have been more aware, more present, and more respectful of people's feelings, and for that, I apologize. Mm, gosh, be, be aware of those fifis. I have had friendships, and relationships end, sometimes in bitterness, often due to my own failings, and I continue to regret and apologize for the pain I have caused. I've always tried to aid and support women in their lives and careers, but I have hurt many people that I had no intention of hurting. I'm, I'm culpable. I take responsibility for my mistakes. I will do better, and for that, I apologize. I apologize to my friends and collaborators for having created this situation, and I hope they will be treated kindly. Mistakes and poor choices in my personal life are not on them, but only on me. Oh, so he's saying, please... Don't use guilt by association to ruin people that um, you know you believe that I'm associated with. I hope to one day become worthy of the trust and kindness that was placed in me by colleagues and friends. I will continue to listen, learn, and strive to be a better human being. I have sought to make amends with people, as I have been made aware of my transgressions, and I will continue to do so. Sad. I have apologized. I apologize. And I will continue. To <laughs> That's heavy duty. That's a Damn. trip. That's past, and present, correct. and future. Past, present, and future. Apologies. He's covering all the bases and take total responsibility for my actions without equivocation. I'm going to be quiet now to listen more than I speak, for other voices matter far more <laughs> than my own right now. No wonder he's an incredible writer. I mean, look at this apology. I have apologized. I apologize, and I will continue to apologize until the day that I die, hell, my brethren. I will be quiet now, for your voice matters more than my shiny Scottish ash. Hell, brother. <laughs> this poor guy, man. Making a dude like this bend the knee. Come on, brother. He needs to bro. apologize for every alternate dimension in case string, <laughs> string theory is real. You know that? <laughs> String theory is crazy. The vibrations, the vibrations. They take away people's self esteem. You know, like he don't have no f self esteem at all to be posted like this. What they're doing to him is wrong, but I got no respect for this dude either. He a man on Father's Day, you know, maybe. This is going to be confusing. If you don't know the lady lingo, you're going to learn it right now. Yesterday, I posted about men abusing their power in the comics industry to groom, emotionally manipulate, have sex with, or serial. What? Or serially? <laughs> right. A bluebeard is a person, usually male with multiple partners. I dumped his sorry arse after I found out he was a bluebeard. Oh. In its extended use, the verb bluebeard might mean to seduce and then reject one woman after another. And now I, I make the case here, be it resolved, that Warren Ellis only did one thing wrong is that he seduced multiple women online, all grown women. Okay. He mentored yeah. them, he spoke to them in DMs, and then inevitably he began to sext them. This is originally based on a fairy tale. Today's terminology, it means to seduce and then reject a woman. Basically, imagine if you would, uh, you go out with a lady, you have a good time, then you ghost her, then you do it again. Uh, serial what a dick. Right, serial God, monogamy. So, so, so he's guilty of being a Wow. So I've been blue bearding chicks my whole life then. Just natural progression of trying to find a decent woman. Like the fairy tale, a man serially gives affection and attention to women and then discards them for new women when he's done with them. I met Warren when I was 22 years old. We were very close for many years. I severed all ties with him at least five years ago. With good reason. My former friend is a complicated man. He is lovable. He is capable of immense generosity and kindness. Also, he's a f 
Bluebeard. <laughs> <laughs> Never touched him. Never even touched them, but he had emotional, sexual, cyber sexual, oh, internet God. relationships with women, and then he just would ghost them and stop talking to them. He bluebearded them, and that's just wrong. I fact checked myself. Looks like I got some dates wrong. I was either 23 or 24 when I met him, <laughs> not 22. <laughs> Is this trauma the same? As getting assaulted in a dark alley at knife point by a stranger? No. No sh <laughs> Is a majority of his behavior illegal? Probably not. Why <laughs> is it a probably? That's a no. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Does it make it okay that he's been pulling this bloviating come to fart daddy nonsense? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is fart daddy? <laughs> bloviating come to fart daddy nonsense for decades because he felt too big to fail what the f when she's not a bank stop letting oh, powerful God. straight cis men but now you know we expect like actual women to come out and say he did something in the physical realm like what's going on here did he actually no. commit crimes or is this just all like hurt feelings over the internet well, so far it just seems like bluebearding. There hasn't been any other allegations right? mounted. That's exactly. right. Exactly. 